Hi. So in this uh, video, we will look at text to SQL. So what is text to SQL? See, normally, when you do generative AI, everybody is talking about, hey, you know what? You can just plug your Gen AI. Suppose you have this Gen AI. It guesses say you plug it to a repository of documents here, and then you can talk to the documents. And you must be seeing your top leaders going gaga over it. Hey, we can chat through the documents, man. We can chat, we can ask questions, and they are thinking as if some Eureka, Eureka sort of delivery, uh, sort of discovery has happened. See, this feat is good, but see the real, uh, real problem of today is. Can you do a question and answer against your database where you have stored your data? We are not talking about documents. We are talking about your data. It may be, I mean, we are, we are not even saying unstructured. We are saying specifically structured data existing in your databases. Can you ask questions? Yes, you can. That is what this video is about. You can do it. Okay. So, what we are saying is we got to make use of text to SQL features. So, what it does is you can directly connect to databases your enterprise data and you can create an enterprise conversational chatbot and you can ask questions questions like what now you might say buddy give an example questions like can you compare year on year for the last three years of the revenue so it will give you okay this year's revenue is this much last year was this much a uh, year before was that this much uh, you are currently doing good but you could have done it better than last year now you are saying okay got it what is the reason i'm not doing as great as last year and then it says you know what you are not doing as great because your sales uh, is down relatively or it can be that your uh, price point is higher which is impacting uh, your sales in a negative sense because you are no longer cheaper so th these are the sort of conversations you can do if you have text to sql because what it does is your questions in the background it converts to a sql query and then it sends to the database and says hey you know what can you fire this query and give the data back to me? And then the database says, okay, master. It fires that SQL query. It returns it back to the chatbot or the AI framework. And the AI says, okay, I get the numbers, but let me apply my LLM trained intelligence on top of it. To present it in a way so that the users feel someone is talking to them that's how it works in the background so which product I should use which models so there is a ranking a bird SQL bench ranking they are saying IBM is doing great and which model the IBM granite model Granite model 34p. This is awesome. Why it is awesome? Because it gives you higher test accuracy relatively. Even though you see 73 or 72.3, they are not way off, but you know, still it's like Hussein Bolt, even with a uh, one second difference or microsecond difference he comes first so uh, 
uh, a first ranker is a first ranker. Then you have something from Gemini that is Google Cloud, and you have Ask Data with GPT and so on. So this is what Bird SQL Bench has provided. Okay, since we are talking about IBM, which is ranking number one with respect to text to SQL conversions using its Granite model. So let's have a look at how do they do that. So this is a developer guide where you have, you know, they have provided how to set up the environment and how to leverage Watson machine learning service instance, API keys, what libraries you need to install. Okay, and then uh, if you want to import the model into Watson Studio, you can import it this way. You have these foundation models. You can import them. And um, then you can test some of the prompts this way. Like the ACI is saying is write a SQL statement to create a database for whatever comp with first name, last name, employee ID, and an email. And then it prints. So it passes this parameter as a prompt to uh, generate a SQL out of it. And then you can expand the context window whichever way you like. Then you can do a summarization and these are your next steps. So this guy, this guy IBM uses Granite code. You can also use OpenAI's GPT-4. This gives you great results. Okay, but this documentation, I'll post the link as well. This documentation is about how to leverage IBM Granite code models to produce a SQL from a text. And then if you want to do a hands-on using this Watson X, you can try it for free using your trial licenses. You can click here and you can click here for Watson X.ai and you can train and validate and tune your models. And if you want, you can also do a RAG using uh, Watson X.ai and you can develop a full-fledged agent. See, the world in the Gen AI would always be about agents agentization that is an important term that we talk about in most of the client organizations that you know there would be like five or six agents talking to each other they can be talking through lang chain but then uh, like you can sequence the steps output of one agent goes to the second one output of second agent goes to the third one and so on so that you can minimize the human intervention and improve the human pro productivity. Okay, so I hope you understood this concept. We will see you in the next part with some more concepts. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. This channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications and keeping you tuned to the latest technology trends. Uh, in the cloud space, in the generative AI space, uh, recent acquisitions in the tech world, and so on. You can become a member for a very small premium. You can join and become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member and gain access to a lot of important questions, knowledge, and information.